Hello everyone. I'm here to uh, once again to show you another terrible DOS game which you probably should never play. Our game today is called Heavy Water Jogger, or HWJ for short. It's kind of a uh, weird name, and the, the game itself is also pretty weird. Let's go ahead and run it. Uh, there's an in-game manual. Uh, this, this screen says you should read the manual for sure. Uh, okay, sure, let's uh, read the manual. There we go, we read it. Alright, let's start the game with sound, because the sound is so incredibly annoying it will add to the campy atmosphere of this uh, this video. Uh, this is uh, this game is shareware. This is this is the standard shareware notice telling you you should pay for the game. Uh, print order form now. Yeah, right. I don't know if DOSBox even would print correctly, but anyway. Okay, so this game is from Viable Software Alternatives. A member of Star apparently. A member of Star presents. Absolutely riveting rendition of Yes folks, it's the William Tell Overture. Alright, enough of that. Uh, let's see, this is the main menu. Uh well, they even have an eight a one eight hundred number that you can use to order this game with your Visa or MasterCard handy. Okay, so the main menu has a few options. You can exit, which would probably be your first choice. Uh, you can choose about to get some nice information about the game. Family worked on this. Look at that. Casey, Elizabeth, and Laura Butler all worked on Heavy Water Jogger. Yeah, good for them. Uh, save? Not. You can't save your game. Uh, if you try to save your game, it tells you this. This is uh, this this message will make more sense later in the game, but for now, just yeah, take my word for it. You can't save the game. Uh, this is to turn the sound off, um, which I'm tempted to do, but. Okay, and this this is the in-game documentation. This this is the story behind the game. Welcome to Three Miles Inland, the newest, biggest, and most dangerous nuclear power plant yet to be constructed. Uh, you page through this using uh, yeah, pressing enter actually exits this. You page through this using uh, yeah, page up and page down. You are Fred Fluke, dedicated jogger and power walker extraordinaire. This is your town, your neighborhood. The uh, yeah, blah blah blah. Okay, great. Uh, you know what this? Okay, basically, you run the place. You uh, see in the second paragraph there, you've started running this power plant. So that's all you really need to know. And then blah blah blah, there's this disaster and somebody's set off some reaction which in 30 minutes will cause the plant to melt down. Okay, great, 30 minutes, there's no time to panic, blah 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 blah. Okay, great. These are the game controls, which you might need to worry about if you were actually going to play the game, which hopefully you won't. Uh, the arrow keys move around, the space bar makes them jump, you must be jogging to do this. Press R to toggle between jogging or running. Press O to open things. I views your inventory. Press M to look at maps, which are only available at the very beginning of the game and at showers. S views your score. It also shows your status. And then T takes an anti-radiation pill. Blah blah blah. There's, there's way too many options for for such a simple game. I mean, okay. I'm gonna start a new game. The game has three difficulty levels. The so-called impenetrable level, which they also misspelled impenetrable. Um, I don't know if it's really impenetrable, it's kind of, it's pretty hard. I'll go with the easiest level. The so-called walkthrough level is not really a walkthrough either, but it's easier. I think this is also a rendition of some piece of classical music. Alright, here we go. So our current health is, uh, maximum, obviously. Score is zero, and we have half an hour to hurry! Alright, and... We are the green-clad figure in the upper left. All right, so right here at the beginning of the game, there's a map. Press M to view it. Oh, you're not close enough. All right, can I step closer? There we go, here's the map. This map is randomly generated in each game, uh, and on the higher difficulty levels, it's larger. So this is the size of the map on the walkthrough level. On Impenetrable, it fills pretty much the whole screen. It's, uh, it's This probably gives you your first hint as to why I don't like this game. Uh, but the edges, the very edges of the plant, are always open. You can always go around the edges of the plant without walls or anything getting in your way. Alright, so here we go. So basically there are two primary things that you'll see a lot of in the floors. One is these gray air gratings, which you can open by pressing O. You're not close enough. 
basically on each screen there's only one there's a maximum of one vent that you can open and sometimes the game is kind of stupid and just decides it doesn't want to let you open any of them so it'll just say there's nothing here to open even if there are several grates on the screen on this one there are three so is it this one that it wants you to open you just sort of have to by trial and error figure out which vent it decides you can open you can't open it while you're standing on it here we go a blue key card that's nice it's kind of a useful item sometimes you get really useless items which aren't very helpful at all but okay I've got him running because that enables me to move around a little faster and also lets him jump like that by pressing spacebar all right let me see if I can open this vent now see, no, see it says nothing here to open even though there clearly is a vent there in the floor but it just for whatever reason it decides no I'm not gonna let you open that one the other thing you'll see is these uh, yellow squares these are water drainage pits don't fall into them or you lose health see that's no way to solve anything yeah, you lose health for falling into the water pits. Oh, and also resets him to walking speed, so press R again to make him run. Alright, so I don't even know where I'm going because I didn't really study the map. Oh, there's nothing here to open, even though there are two vents. I didn't study the map, so I'm just basically... Ah, okay, that's one of those robots um, you might have seen in the save game screen where it's telling you how it doesn't let you save. There are robots like this one that are put here to protect you, but if you go too close to them, they'll zap you to the beginning of the level. Rats. For your own safety, the robot returns you to the planned entrance. This looks familiar, Fluke. Yeah, it does. And basically, the game keeps sending you back to the beginning for really stupid reasons. Almost anything, almost any way that you think you die actually just resets back to the beginning so that's why it doesn't let you save because you can't technically die you just keep getting sent back to the beginning of the of the maze so you know you run out of health you run out of time you uh, you know uh, well you actually don't get sent back to the beginning if you fall into one of the pits you just lose some health uh, but anyway oh someone's discarded peace symbol Far out, dude. Uh, so yeah, you just basically, you wanna go searching through these grates. Oh, this one I think I can dodge past. I think I can dodge past this robot. Yeah, because there was an opening on the side. And after a few screens, we'll lose that robot. Maybe you lost that one, Fred. Alright, excellent. I think there's a timer bug in DOSBox or something that causes those robots to show up too much. Oh, a red key card, that's nice. Because uh, when I played this game on an actual 486 running DOS, I ran into those robots maybe once every 10 or 20 screens, but here I'm running into them almost every one or two screens. Most of the time I actually find I, I run away from them so much I actually backtrack more than I'm going forward, so I actually end up... Where's this event that I'm supposed to open? Here we go. All right, a robot deactivator. Awesome. With a sigh of relief, you switch the unit to on. This robot deactivator is the best thing in the game. It is by far the most useful item in the game. As long as you can keep it from being destroyed, it will protect you from the droids. This one hasn't been deactivated because the game isn't smart enough to turn the droid off if there's one that's already been spawned. But after we lose this one, what? Oh, great. Okay. Well, that's really annoying, but if you press S... Aha, we still have the robot deactivator there, see? So now we won't have to worry about robots again, unless you break it. If you run into walls, you break the robot deactivator. So be careful not to run into walls. Normally you don't want to run into walls anyway, because they're somewhat radioactive and you lose a little bit of health if you run into them. But especially when you have the robot remote control, don't run into walls, because after I think it takes three hits you can crack it three times and then after that it breaks and then you'll run into the robots again so I already opened that one so it's empty okay anyway I'm running out of time on this video so let me explain one other thing uh, this is your inventory window which you pull up by pressing I if you actually play this game at the very end of the game there's a locked door that you need a key code to open the code to the door is basically all the digits on the left hand side of your inventory window so however many of whatever you've picked up just open up your inventory window and the numbers the column of numbers on the left forms the code to the door weird huh as you get closer to the center of the reactor 
I don't know if you can even tell. Oh, a yellow key card. That's nice. The background is a very faint glowing red. And that red color gets brighter and more intense as you get closer to the center of the reactor. So that's a clue that you're getting close to your destination. Uh, anyway. But yeah, this game is still really frustrating. Uh, it's not so bad now that I have to remote control, but still... Uh, it's it's just it's intentionally frustrating. Oh, this one's empty. I must have opened that before. Okay, you know what? That's it. I'm done. Uh, don't ever play this game. Uh, it's you've basically seen all that there is to see of the game now. So, all right, everyone, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.